Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna be playing some Duelist and we gotta play the Venar, because that's my daily. We're doing Duelist dailies, guys, with Venar. So we're gonna hit the play button, play it around here. Okay, season ranked ladder. Currently, I am actually downloading the free to play Wildstar because I'm in the beta. Woo! Anyways, Venar, one of those uh, peoples I have not played. As you can see, I've not unlocked everything for them. Um, we're gonna go do the starter deck. Yes, this is a uh, tragic thing indeed. Uh, playing as starter decks, generally we will lose, because starter decks seem to kind of suck. Uh, but, you know, I just want to show off Venar, and I kind of want to learn Venar myself. Now one thing, the only complaint that I have about Venar is that her face is very, very similar to the Abyssian woman face. I feel like they should, like the Abyssian woman face should actually be changed a little bit. But whatever! Uh, so the Venar, they kind of have like this ice aesthetic, they, they can actually create ice walls, they can actually create terrain and, and move around terrain. Um, I don't know exactly what niche they fill. I, I don't know if they are like a kiter. I don't know if they're just like an all inner most of the time. I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know Venar. So we're going to try to do our best, guys. We're going to have as much fun as possible uh, with this. With this, I hope so. I hope we're going to have fun. Magmar oh, shit. A Magmar. We're going to a Magmar. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so the starting hand, I don't want him at all. I like the Crystal Wisp because... Dying Wish permanently gain one mana crystal is pretty cool. Deal one damage to a minion and stun it. Uh, why not? Let's confirm it. That could be pretty good for early board control. Fuck the Storm Metal Golem. Luckily, uh, every turn we can replace a card, so we're gonna fuck that Storm Metal Golem and its pussy. <laughs> Am I language, right, though? Yeah. Not for kids. Okay. I go first. No, I don't. I go second. Sorry. He goes first. He's gonna walk up, summon something, whatever. I'm gonna go up first. I'm gonna summon my, my Crystal Wispe. And then I'll be able to hopefully spawn a, a two. I don't know. We, get, we have to replace our storm metal golem here. I don't. I don't want to play with a storm metal golem, man. I don't want to first turn storm metal golem. I just don't want to replace you. And we got to turn any minion into a three three ravager with no abilities. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. So we're actually gonna we're gonna place this guy. Um, we don't want to. We don't need to use any mana. So we're just gonna place him there, and then we're gonna end the turn. Uh, at most, he will he will only be able to take one anyways, and from here I can take one or the other. So we're still in a pretty fine spot. Fuck, I still got this guy, the Healing Mystic. Uh, I don't want a chance not being able to, like, getting just a spell. Give a friendly minion plus three attack if it is frost, also give it plus three health. I don't think the Ravager counts as frost, so yeah, we're gonna have to save this spell. Okay, that is getting, that's getting turned right now. Fuck you, dude. That just happened. Okay, so I've got three um, power. I got three ability. Are you frost? No, you're just a minion. Um, deal one damage to a minion and stun it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually walk past this thing. I'm gonna move up here too, and I'm gonna attack him. I'm fine with this, and then I'm gonna spawn this guy right, uh, right here. And I'm gonna heal myself. Can I heal myself? Yeah. All right, we're we're in a good spot, I think. Anyways. Um, if we kill him, look, look, see, it says permanently gain one mana crystal. This is good, so it's going to persist through the turn. I'm actually going to keep him there. I'm not going to attack. I just want to deter him from moving over and getting more mana crystals. So I'm hoarding all the manas. And then also this character is good at having mana. So, whoa, potentially, whoa, if I get, if I move all my creatures, I could potentially summon this fucking dragon bone golem. That's so crazy. Oh, no, I can't because of that. No, I wanted to summon the dragon bone. Wait, we can still summon the dragon bone? Hold on, so if we if we sacrifice ourselves, if we attack him, and we gain one mana crystal, six, so we move down. Can we summon the dragon bone? No, why is that only six? God damn it. I thought it would be five. God, chase. Deal one damage to a minion and freeze it. I guess that's cool. Give a friendly minion plus three attack. And this guy's this guy frost. Okay, infiltrate. Gains plus two attack. That's pretty beast. I think I think he wants him. To, okay, I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. And I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to I'm gonna do this. End the turn. Just, just, end, just end the turn. Just end the turn. Yeah, fuck the turn. Let's go. I think we did pretty all right. Um, next turn, I'm gonna summon this giant dude. 
And that's going to cause some problems. I don't think Magmar has any insta-gibs. Oh, no, he does. He does have insta-gibs, but it's only for um, the lowest with attack. Whoever has the lowest attack monster on the field. So as long as he keeps spawning monsters, I should be able to be fine with his Dragon Bone. And I got to make sure I'm spawning monsters continuously, too. So, okay, that's cool. Now it's my turn. It's my turn, guys. All right, let's attack. Attack him. I'm going to summon this bad boy right uh, here. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, my God, I can do Frostfire again. I could do Frostfire again. And then I'm going to actually move, um, I'm going to move over here. I'm going to move down here. That thing, that thing's strong though, man. I don't, I don't want to fight that thing. I want that thing to be off the board. Get that, get it out of here. I don't want that. But, uh, should I attack him? Whatever. End the turn. Uh, that hurt me a lot. Can't lie about that one. Okay. Hailstone. Dude, Hailstone is a golem. I mean, he is a golem because it says Hailstone golem, but he's not frost, really? Come on, man. Oh, dude, Dragonbone's going to do some damage next turn. Magmar can't escape, dude. Unless you got a... Oh, dude, no. That's some damage. Oh, this damage is... Oh, shit. He's got a big... He's got a big monster himself, dude. Oh, scare in the air today. Oh, eight damage. Shit. Shit. The damages. Give a minion plus three attack. Oh, dude, I'm going to do that to Crystal Cloaker. So he's going to have seven damage. 17 damage. Oh, if only I could move up there. If only, man... I can't, though. Oh, wait. Why are you moving? What are you doing? Are you moving there? What's going on? Are you going to move? What? What's happening? Are you going to summon something? Because I don't understand what you're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move him there. I'm going to move him here. And I'm going to summon... Can they kill me next turn? I mean, it's not impossible. Right? It's not impossible. Plus three, three. Attack. Oh yeah, and I am gonna attack you. Okay, so I can't win this turn. That's not a winning is not happening this turn exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon um this this five here, and I'm gonna summon this two. Where should I put it? Here. All right, we'll end the turn. Hopefully he can't kill me. I think I would like to win. I would really like to win. Oh, okay, so I win. Yeah, guys, we did it! We did it! We won! Victory! Victory! We did it, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got something. Fenrir Warmaster. Dude, this card is epic. Dying Wish Summon 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it's good. First win of the day reward. Oh, two wins reward. Okay, so we got to play four games with the Venar. Let's go. Venar. Oh, right here. Venar Kindred. So that game was uh, pretty cool. I mean, it was somewhat close-ish. I imagine I might have some trouble with Abyssian. I'm still not sure exactly what Venar does. So I don't want you. I like getting you first turns. And Flash Freeze is pretty cool too. What do we got? Oh, cool. We got a Provoke. Nice. So yeah, Venar seems a little bit more defensive. Is that the right word? Defensive? I don't know. She kind of seems like a Lionar, actually. I don't know. Uh, so we are going to summon the Wisp because we actually want the Wisp to die as soon as possible. And turn. Okay, so next turn we will actually have um, potential for... Let's see, we have two right now. Three. Oh, no. Okay. So... Oh, Gloom Chaser. Of course. The Gloom Chaser. Of course. Okay, you're done, right? Are oh, you going to summon Horn of the Forsaken? Whenever General... Oh, no, nah, dude. She's going to summon so many Wraithlings, dude. Fuck the Wraithling. Are you serious? Okay, so we're going to have potential for five. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk this guy over here. We're going to walk him over here. And we're going to summon this dude. And then this guy. Your general gains plus four attack. Oh, do I want to do this now? Fuck, because they're just she's just going to ram them into me and destroy my artifact anyways. Shit. Uh, so we're going to deal one damage to a monster and stun it. So we can use it to kill at least, what, this this guy? This guy. And we're going to use, we're going to summon this thing. And then we can't summon this guy yet, so let's replace it. Um, that was a bad choice. We'll replace that next turn. Anyways, end turn. And we got it. Oh my god, another Snowpiercer. Holy shit, dude. This, actually, she does really remind me of Lionar. Or even Magmar. It's very, something kind of similar. Like, she can beef up her monsters quite a bit. Maybe she just approaches it in a slightly different manner, but they are quite similar. Come on. She's got, like, a gun sword, a gun's frost blade thing. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, she's a, she's got all these wraiths, dude. She's gonna summon all these wraiths. She wants to get one of those shadow demons, I think they're called. She wants to get one of them on the board. She can't summon it right now, though. Yeah, break my fucking artifact. I don't think these, these can't attack right now. And there's a provoke right here, so I'm actually gonna move the provoke um, in place so that they have to attack it, which is gonna kill all of them. So I'm just gonna move it slightly up here. I'm actually gonna move this guy um, down to attack one of these. And I'm gonna attack one of these so I can move a little bit closer. Ah! And turn any minion into a 3-3 Ravager with no abilities. I don't feel like that right now. I'm not gonna use that right now either. Hmm. Let's see. Opening Gambit. Restore two health to a minion or general. I could use this. Or I'll use it on the Provoke maybe next turn. I've got mana to use. And I should use it. So I'm going to stack this guy. And I guess that's it. We're just going to... Shit. Should I just kill this thing? But it's going to waste... It's going to waste one of my things. She's just going to ram it into... No, it can't because it's provoked. Okay, good. That's good. That's right. Provoke is awesome. And then I'll just heal the dude with Provoke and then move it closer. So what she's going to want to do is she's going to want to kite me around. And I don't want to be kited around, so I need to figure out a way to not be kited around. I need to play the board. So yeah, she's going to summon all these Wraithlings. She's going to try to box me in. Box me out, really. Don't do it. Oh, it's a Veil Hunter. Fuck, dude, Veil Hunters. It's ranged. She's going to just try poking me down. All right, she's definitely going for a kiting kind of route. I don't know what cards are in my deck to not be kited. I don't know. Much scare, guys. Much scare in the air. I'm scared. My turn. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we are going to do right here is we're actually going to move over there to provoke him. We're going to summon this dude. And we're going to heal my character. We're going to summon this thing right here. And, okay, this kind of sucks. I can turn it into a 3-3, three, three, which would be pretty cool. Or, like, I'm going to sacrifice a mana crystal. I don't think I need mana right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're just going to do that. We're just going to summon that. We're just going to do that. And we're going to attack this thing. So it looks like, sadly, my artifacts are going to go to waste because of her deck right now. It's a bloody tragedy, but it's going to happen. Yep, there goes the artifacts. Ugh, I wish I could have hit her with that. That would have been so sexy. Do not summon a sha fucking Shadow Watcher. Gosh dang it. There's the Shadow Watcher. Okay, we need to kill. We need to kill that Shadow Watcher. Oh my god, she's boxing me out so hard, dude. I don't know how to be. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm scared. So I just got to use my monsters to control the board. I need to just like beat the shit out of all the monsters. I just nom 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 nom. I just got to nom them all down. Once this guy gets hurt, I'm going to turn him into a Ravager, too. My turn! Okay, so we're going to attack. Um, we're going to use... We're going to move him. Move him here, and we're going to kill the Shadow Watcher. She miscalculated that. Because, you know, fuck that thing. Um, we're going to move over here. So all of these things are now officially... Officially provoked. Um, we're going to attack this guy, which does two damage, but only has one health. We're going to attack... Uh, yeah, we're going to attack this guy. Hi, Matt. Welcome to Skype. And now that he's 2-1, we are going to transform him into a Ravager. And now we're going to summon the Storm Metal really bloody close to him. And then we're going to start moving up. And we're just going to waste one of these. We're just going to... Yeah, see you later, kid. Fuck. Anyway, so now all we have is plus 4 attack. Oh, no. It's, it's all gone. All the artifacts are gone. Essentially wasted. Which really sucks, man. It really sucks. I hate to say it, but it sucks. And we're going to kill this thing. End turn. I didn't need to kill it, but I just wanted to, just because. So what would be smart of her is to attack my Provoke to kill it, so then the range can start hitting me. The Whistling Blade, what the fuck is that thing? Holy shit, that's so cool. It has Provoke? It has Provoke with 15 health? Dude, her whole deck is about kiting me. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is happening right now. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I, why didn't I attack back? What the fuck? 
Okay, give a friendly minion plus three attack if it's frost. Well, I don't have frost, so that's a thing. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess we'll summon. I guess we need we need to start moving. Really, this guy. Um, over. We're gonna move my character over. We are gonna we're gonna move this guy right here. And oh, we can't we can't move him at all because he's provoked. So we're gonna attack him there. Um. Okay. So we only did two damage. That's that's cool. That's whatever. We're gonna box her in. We're gonna attack this thing, I guess. And I want to give this guy plus three attack. All right. So we have the board control. Oh, that's why. Because shadow creep. I didn't even know I was standing on shadow creep. Why didn't anybody tell me I was standing on shadow creep? Oh my god. Hey, we got some new effects. What? I didn't know we had some new effects for the game. It has been updated. Oh, she summoned a storm metal golem. Shit. So we have to attack his provoke first, which we kill it next turn, though. Um, Skyrock golem. Okay, you're gonna move. You're gonna try to. You're gonna summon some wraithlings. You still got. Okay. Okay. So storm metal. No. You attack him. And then we're gonna move this guy over over here. Oh, dude, this is brilliant. This is brilliant right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Oh, what are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do? And then I'm gonna give my character plus attack. And then we attack. We start we start doing some damage, guys. We start dealing the deeps. And we're gonna kill this thing. And let's go ahead and summon this guy. And the turn. Okay, so we should be able to win next turn. Unless she does something insane, but we got provokes on the floor. So she can only summon monsters away from me, so she'll box herself in. And her strategy should just, like, implode on her. So I believe it's GG. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the well played. But she's... I don't know, man. My experience in this game is that people come out with some bullshit cards that I've never seen before in my life. Uh, though, I mean, the game is new, right? So she's got an airdrop. She's gonna put that there. You're gonna do... Okay, you got flying. Okay, cute. I don't understand. What are you trying to do? What are you gonna do here? You're gonna open a game to spell one enemy space. Okay, so they're no longer provoked, but your creatures can't reach me or my monsters. So, what? You're just throwing everything out? I don't understand. I mean, what are you gonna do? Okay, so you're gonna kill that monster and then move to attack me. Move to attack. Like, what are you? What are you gonna do? You have to. I mean, you could potentially make this work. I think. I think. What? Uh, that was probably, I mean, that's a decision now. There's room to, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, she tried, she tried her best. Oh, yeah, we did it, guys. We won again. Woo! Victory. Awesome. I'm pretty stoked. Let's go back into the Venar. Probably get, we're probably going to get this done. Uh, lickety splits here. 17 minutes in. I'm feeling pretty, I'm pretty, feeling pretty good. So, yeah, check it out, dude. She's got this fucking crossbow sniper um, sword. Oh, shit. I think I have the feeling that this guy's gonna show me how to play Venar. Um, so for one, I don't want this, and I guess we're cool with this. Wait, did I just get the same thing? What? I can always replace it. Um, he goes first. Okay. So wait, oh, oh no, is this me? Okay, that's him. Okay, he's on the left side. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go, let's do it, Mike. Mika Bull, Mika Bull, whatever. I don't know, dude. Um, a lot of people say my name wrong too. They're like Skylers, Sky, Skyle, Kyle. It's Skylent, man. Skylent. It's Skylent. What's wrong with that? You never heard of someone called Skylent? Probably not. Only one in the world. Whatever. Having a unique name is really important. Oh, he said hello. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Mwah. Okay, so that guy has flying. That's a bitch, right? Because he can now move anywhere on the board. So. Yeah, that kind of sucks, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon this guy, and then we're gonna do this. Say fuck you, and then we're gonna do this. So he has plus three attack, just for funsies. Just for funsies, guys. I know that was that was really not the most useful thing that I could have done, because he's gonna die in one hit. But I want him to be serious. I want him to take that Crystal Wisp very seriously. <laughs> okay, kill it. Just kill it. Just destroy it. Yeah, flash. Okay, okay. I fucking knew it, dude. I should not have I should not have even done that. And I wasted a mana. Oh my god, Glacial Elemental. What the fuck is that thing? That thing looks so cool. Uh, whenever a, you summon a Frost minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. What the fuck? Who the hell said you could do that? I can't get there. If I could get to this mana spot, I could summon the Storm Metal. God, no, it's not fair. It's not fair. 
It's not there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this thing. And now I got I can gain plus four attack. So I'm gonna use that and attack him. Ugh. Whoa, that's some good sound effects. Okay, so now this turn, I can summon my Bright Moss Golem. He's gonna get that mana. No, I can summon my Storm Metal Golem. I got a lot of golems, man. Dragon Bone, Bright Moss, Storm Metal. So a golem, right? What is the core? So every golem has a core. And then basically, um, whatever material is surrounds this core makes the golem. I wonder if that affects their personality. You guys ever wonder that? Dude, somebody should write a novel about golems being sentient. Something like that. All right, so we're going to summon this bad boy. We're going to attack here. So we're both we're both getting pretty low, but I summoned my big monster first. So now it's much scare in the air for her. I have a healing mystic that I can lay down. Flash freeze. Okay, so he's going to be stunned. Whatever. Next turn, I'm summoning my dragon bone. What are you going to summon? What is that, girl? Is that a flying creature? What are you summoning? A healing mystic. Oh, you got a healing mystic too. Dude, did we get, just get the same cards, basically? Her deck is a little bit different. It's actually complete. Oh, and are you going to summon... No, you don't. Sunseer. Whenever this minion deals damage, restore two health. Oh my god. That needs to die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I die. I think I lost this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lost, man. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. So let's heal our dude and then let's summon this guy uh, right here. And we can only... If we attack, we, we suffer the chance of dying next turn. Like, we might lose. I think we could still lose. Um... And she, she would have to have a rush, I think. But I'm going to try to run backwards, and I'm going to try to actually... Uh, I'm going to try to summon my dragon bone golems. I'm going to try to get all my golems on the board, but I'm pretty sure I lost. And I think it's just because I went ham, and he went ham, but he had better ham. I mean, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, you're, what are you going to summon here? Yeah, you're going to move him over. You're, gonna, you're both going to attack me. It's not going to be fatal. Oh, it could have been fatal if she had another artifact, but... That is not to be today, and then, oh, we lost. Rush, okay. That's that's worthy. I went to ham, and he had better ham. I didn't I didn't know, I'm, I'm inexperienced, I didn't know. So good job, good game. And now we got four online games. Wait, why, why is that only at two right now? I already played two games, we won two games in a row. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't that count? Oh well. Fuck it. Oh, Abyssian. Let's see how this Abyssian plays. Choose a starting hand. Holy shit. No, we don't want artifacts right now. Um, I'll take the stun though. I don't want these either. No, this is fine. Healing Mystic is good for his drop. And then once he attacks once or whatever, then we can transform him. And that's fair. It's totally fair. Oh, this music's pretty cool. So you move, I'll move, summon my healing mystic. Wait, I don't even need to summon the, my healing mystic. So, wait, I mean, I need to summon the healing mystic, but I don't need to take that mana. Um, So we're just going to just skip, because whatever. It's the only monster card we had, so I'm just going to keep it. I wish we had a better monster card, but it is what it is. Maybe could have replaced it? I don't know. So if she moves forward to the middle, it's going to have me worried. Uh, she should move to the sides. She probably should move up. If she summons first, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, she's going to move and then summon. She could potentially get two, depending on what card she plays. So she's going to summon a Skyrock, which is two. And then she should have a one mana card maybe she can play. Um, or two mana card, which is... No, okay, that's not it. Dude, this, car this card is called Komodo Charger, but it doesn't have Rush, which is surprising to me. Um, so now I'm gonna walk over to this thing. This guy's gonna walk over to this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so we're just gonna take those. And, uh, we're gonna summon this bad boy, probably, I think. Let's see. Um, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna freeze this guy, and we're gonna attack it. So that's the one thing that we're gonna do. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon this guy. Summon him right here. Yeah. And then we're replacing this. Okay, we got two of these things. Um, this this is actually okay. So, for instance, if a, if this guy gets too low, right? Like if he if he gets to like um, he's a four one or something. 
Then I'll transform him into a Ravager. And then once the Ravager gets low, I can transform him to, into another Ravager. And he'll basically, essentially, it's like a heal for a 3 3 card. All right, so she's uh, strategizing, getting her, her concepts down. Clith, Clith, Poth, Clipoth. Shadow Watcher. Okay, dangerous. Shadow Watcher, dangerous. Um, I'm willing to even use this Ravager on the Shadow Watcher. Um. Yep, we're gonna use it on the Shadow Watcher. We're gonna use one on the Shadow Watcher and one on the Hailstone Golem. Oh no, we can just use it on the. We can just actually move this guy, move him over here, and kill him. That's actually just what we can do. And we can move this guy over here. And what we can do is we can attack with him. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I move there? Oh, because that's being summoned right there. Uh, and then we can turn him into a Ravager. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move our girl here. We're going to move her up. And we're going to attack. And I think we're going to keep all this other stuff. We have five mana to spend, though. Oh, uh, we can stun this thing. I don't know if we would just want to kill it, but I guess that's what we're going to do. And we're going to end the turn. I want her to have nothing on her board just in case. I don't know. And she conceded. Awesome. Wow. Fantastic. I, I think we might have to play another game, though. Because the... Uh, yeah, okay. We got our rewards. Plus 15 gold. And it says we got to play another game. So let's play one more game with a Venar squad. Okay, here we go. One more game, guys. That was pretty good. Uh, we got... We only lost to another Vanar. Okay, so we're going first, which I'm... I guess I'm cool with that. I don't want you... Holy shit, we got a Fenrir. That's awesome. Let's confirm. And we got another Fenrir! Woo! That's uh, actually pretty cool. We're going to summon our Provoke first, though. We're going to just put him over here, and we're going to end the turn. Next turn, though. Next turn, we are going to have... Um, where we're going to get probably potentially... We could potentially... Get, yeah, we're going to get two mana springs. I think. No, we're probably just gonna get one. Should we even get one? Healing Mystic? Okay. If he does a Healing Mystic first turn, that's, uh, yeah, you know, not optimal. So. True Strike. Deal two damage to a minion. It's not gonna kill it, but the Provoke is still there, so that's cool, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. We can move him over here. He's not Frost. Is this guy Frost? He's still a minion, so I'm actually gonna move him hella close. So, you know, that's happening there. And we're gonna summon this Crystal here. So that's happening. <laughs> and I'm going to move over to the... Low. Which way are we going? Left or right? Or bottom? I don't know. So we're going this way, and we're probably going to just kind of keep him hit there. So that this turn, we force an attack. So that they can't move. Okay, so you're going to summon somebody right here. Does he have a rush? He's going to move, because he can't move unless he attacks. What you should do is attack with your um, commander, and then move him to get a crystal. Okay, or not. And then now you're going to summon to get a crystal, and then you're going to be able to summon something else, right? If you summon a one creature or two creature, oh, you're going to attack instead of... Okay, so there's that. Now, I got a bonus crystal, which I'm fine with. I got a bonus mana. And you're going to summon the wind blade. With zeal, he gets plus two attack. Zeal fucking... Ah, oh, I hate zeal so much. Okay, so we're going to summon Fenrir. Uh, let's see. Actually, we have five. We have five. We have five, and we can actually move here. So now we have six. So what we can do is, is we can summon the Hailstone Golem. Or we can summon Fenrir. We can summon Hailstone. What, 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 what can we do? What can we do? We can summon two Fenrirs. So we should do that. Here's one little Fenrir. And here's another little Fenrir. And if they die, he summons a monster. So they're guaranteed to get some damage out on the board. And I got my, another Provoke. Which is pretty beast. I'm going to summon that Provoke, like, right next to that Zeal dude, because fuck that guy. And I'll probably put Frostfire on him just so he can kill the Zeal. We'll see. You can attack him. What are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? Are you going to execute him? Does he, do you have an execute? Is that what you want to do? What are you going to do? What are you doing, bro? Let me know, man. Let me know what you're going to do. Okay, so the Windblade can kill him. Uh, and if he uses both of these creatures, he can kill the wolf that's going to spawn afterwards. Uh, I want to summon my provoke so that I can prevent that. I don't know what he's going to do. What, you got an airdrop? What are you, what are you, what are you doing, dude? What, 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 what are you doing? Why, what's taking so long? Silverguard Squire, thank God it doesn't have provoke. And another Silverguard Squire. Okay, so he's boxing me in. And you're going to attack. Okay, so I got three damage down. That's pretty cool. And you're going to true strike him. But we still got the wolf. 
and then you're going to use your wind your wind blade to uh, kill the wolf, right? N no. Okay. So that was that was inefficient. That was completely inefficient. He's probably kicking himself for that one. Oh yeah, he's kicking himself for that one for sure. For sure that is what is happening right now. He is kicking himself for doing that. So we're going to summon this guy here. We are going to summon the provoke here. We're going to move our character up a little bit. We are going to summon the hailstone as well right here. And then we are out of mana. So I guess we can just attack one of these guys. It doesn't really matter here. We're going to attack here. And we're going to end the turn. All right, all right, all right. Really wish Hailstone counted as uh, Frost, but whatever. That's That'd probably be OP. Aspect of the Fox. Okay, so what we can do is actually we can turn him into a 3... Oh, no. If we turn him into a 3-3 Ravager, then he loses his Dying Wish. So we actually don't want to do that. This guy has Provoke, though. So this guy, a little bit of danger. Divine Bond, give him a minion plus attack equal to its health. So he's got 8-5. That's a beast, and I can't move. So, yeah, luckily I got a Provoke on him, but it looks like I'm actually in a pickle. I'm, offic I'm officially in a pickle, guys. However, he's only got five health. So, what are you, you going to do here? What are you, you going to do? You're going to kill him? Well, that just happened. So now that is a, uh, yeah, that's a 3-3 three, three wolf now. So, you can't, you can't. You have to attack the provoke to do one damage to you. Which is good. Which is nice. Always a fan of that. And what are you going to do? What, what? Five, one damage? You can do one damage to me? What? What are you going to do? That's what I fucking thought. So I'm going to kill you. Oh, I can't yet. At the moment, I can't. Um, so I can kill him this turn with these two monsters. With this one monster, actually. Um, so I can kill I can kill with this. So I'll attack, attack. So there goes my provoke, but that's out of the way now. So I can move a little bit closer. I don't know if I want to move closer or not, but this is happening. Okay, so we're gonna summon this healing dude. I'm gonna summon him to heal me. I'm gonna kill this thing, cause I don't want to be a. I don't. I just don't want this thing in my life right now. And we're gonna attack him. And once we attack, we're gonna take some damage, and then I'm gonna transform him. There we go. That's pretty beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? That's a glorious thing, I think. Okay, end the turn. End the turn. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. Okay, so 24 to 14, yeah, but of course, as this game goes on, we have more mana, we have more cards, we can do some bigger combos. Things can happen, my friends. Aw, oh, but we win. Concede. GG. Victory. Victory. There we go, guys, and we did it. That was our dailies. We go to the armory here. Got some spear orbs we can spend. Confirm. Oh, whoa, whoa, I do not want to purchase more spear orbs. Thank you anyways. Now let's end the video on doing some spirit orbs. Oh! What do we got? Deathfire Crescendo. Oh shit, dude. That's all. Give a friendly minion death watch. Holy. Draw to fill your action bar. What? Deal two damage to an... Dude, what the fuck? These are some cool cards, man. Lionheart Blessing. Give a friendly minion zeal. Dude, whenever this minion deals damage, draw a card. A Helm of the Mechazor. Dude, the Mechazor is like the fucking Exodia of this game. That's awesome. Okay. Um, wait, we did complete our dailies, right? Our quests? Yeah, we did it. We did our Vinar quest. So thanks for watching, guys. Just doing some duelist dailies. And hey, we're getting a little bit better. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylant Shore, and we'll see you.